Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. Hello and welcome into the WHKY News for Wednesday, August 7th. I'm Ralph Mangum. You can watch us on Over the Air TV on channel 14.2 every weekday, or you can find us at WHKY.com and on our YouTube channel. In today's top stories, parent company Surya Inc. has announced that 50 Mitchell Gold and Bob Williams upholstered furniture pieces are now available in more than 200 configurations for designers to purchase on Surya's website. The curated offering includes sofas, sectionals, accent chairs, dining chairs, and counter stools, all manufactured and assembled in North Carolina. The full relaunch of the Mitchell Gold and Bob Williams brand, including an enhanced product assortment, is set to follow in the fall. Production and distribution will resume at the one million square foot footprint of the original facilities across Statesville, Hidden Night, and the main factory in Taylorsville. According to a statement released by Surya, many former factory employees will be rehired. At the helm of Mitchell Gold and Bob Williams operations is industry veteran Daryl Webster, who joined the company as chief operating officer earlier this year. Webster has a history in multiple industries, including furniture brands Henredon and Williams Sonoma Inc. Mitchell Gold, co-founder of Mitchell Gold and Bob Williams, continues to serve as an advisor. A Catawba County man has been sentenced to a decade in federal prison for several robberies committed in late 2022. WHKY's Rob Eastwood has the details. According to federal authorities, the defendant in this case was connected to the theft of more than a thousand cartons of cigarettes, which were valued at more than $70,000. 29-year-old Adrian Alexander Bryson of Newton was sentenced to 121 months in prison and three years of supervised release for a string of armed robberies. The announcement was made on Tuesday by Dina J. King, U.S. Attorney for the Western District of North Carolina. According to court documents, between October and December of 2022, Bryson planned and executed at least nine robberies of H.T. Hackney delivery trucks as they were attempting to deliver cartons of cigarettes to convenience stores. During the robberies, Bryson and his co-conspirators wore masks and either displayed firearms to the delivery drivers or behaved as if they were armed. Court records show that the robbers generally knew where the higher end tobacco products would be located on the delivery truck and stole the cartons of cigarettes that were the most valuable. In total, H.T. Hackney reported a loss of more than $70,800, which consisted of 1,129 cartons of cigarettes stolen during the robberies. On December 28th of 2022, Bryson was arrested in Hickory on March 6th of 2024. Bryson pleaded guilty to Hobbs Act robbery and possession and brandishing a firearm in furtherance of a crime of violence. The Hobbs Act is a federal law prohibiting extortion or robbery by wrongful use of force or fear or the attempt of these crimes affecting interstate or foreign commerce. Authorities in Iredell County were among the agencies involved in the investigation. As of the time I'm filing this report, Bryson was being held in the Iredell County Detention Center pending designation of a federal facility. So once again, a sentence of 121 months or 10 years, one month in federal prison for Adrian Alexander Bryson of Newton. And reporting from Newton, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News. Thank you, Rob. With news from yesterday's city council meeting, here's WHKY's Ariana Mack. Hickory City Council met in regular session on Tuesday night, August 6th. All right, good evening and welcome to the August 6th meeting of the Hickory City Council. Minutes, second readings, and the consent agenda were all approved. The consideration of a text amendment to the city's land development code presented by planning manager Cal Overby was unanimously approved by city council. All right, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed like sign? All right, that carries unanimously. In other action at Tuesday's regular session, unanimous approval was given by the Creating Outdoor Recreation Economies Strategic Plan, which was presented by Business and Community Development Manager Dave Leonetti. Good evening, Mayor.
Mayor Guest, members of council, Mr. Wood, Mr. Swanson. Uh, I'm here tonight with David McRae from the North Carolina Department of Commerce. We're here to discuss the Creating Outdoor Recreation Economies uh, strategic plan, and that was funded by the Department of Commerce. And I'm going to turn the presentation for the first half over to Mr. McRae, and he's going to talk about the program and the planning process, and then I'm going to come back and talk a little bit about the goals and strategies and the vision contained within the plan. Also, during Tuesday's meeting, a traffic update was presented by Hickory Police Chief Reed Bayer. Uh, tonight, I'll be providing you, just as Mr. Wood said, with a traffic safety update. Um, going to talk a little bit about a lot of things. So we're going to move through this. There's a lot of data that I'm going to throw at you. So anytime you have a question, please ask it. For the complete live stream of Hickory City Council meetings, visit their YouTube channel. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. Up next in today's crime report, we have two Charlotte residents arrested in Caldwell County on murder charges. Rob has more courtroom news and Ariana has three arrests from Caldwell County. In local sports today, Jason has some unfortunate news involving Patton High School football. There's also news from the Bears Club, the Crawdads, and the Speedway in Wilkesboro. In Community Focus, Dana Kaminsky has our weekly update from the city of Hickory. Well, today's weather wasn't too bad with mostly cloudy skies and a high in the mid 80s, but tomorrow is a different thing altogether. We are looking for two to three inches of rain Thursday with a high only in the mid 70s. After some more showers early in the day Friday, things will take a turn for the better with partly sunny skies and a high around 90. It should be a very nice weekend with plenty of sunshine and a high around 90 Saturday and in the mid 80s Sunday. Highs should stay in the mid 80s for pretty much all of next week. You can always find an up-to-date forecast at WHKY.com. I'm Ralph Mangum. You are watching the WHKY News.